Hi, welcome back to the channel. Now this is a video I didn't think I'd be making this, well, ever again, to be honest with you. The fault that we thought we'd solved is back. Yeah, it's back. The engine keeps going into limp mode. Um, we reset it. Uh, then it'll bring up fault codes, error codes, and back into limp mode, so... Going down to brothers. Um, we're going to have a look at it and see if we can fettle it, see what's going on. Um, we just, it's just, it's just an intermittent fault. We, we, we think we've cured it and for a while it'll work and then it comes right back. Now I know a few years are suffering with this. So I'm hoping today we get it finished. But I'm looking like a right scruff. So I think it's time for a shave and a haircut first. So I'll see you down here brothers in a little while. Hopefully, feeling a bit better than I do right now because I am absolutely gutted and I'm at rock bottom again. Fans, who'd have them? I'll just show you what mine's been doing or not been doing. So as it is now, that's idling. Now before it was idling at 11, that's why we kept going into fault mode. Now, it's, it's actually, that won't show us a fault on the system. And if we rev it, it'll pick up again. It's very safe. We'll go. There you go. That's a going in fault mode now, you've got the engine change to so at 11, that isn't meeting the requirements of the parameters. So basically we're getting about 2.2 .2 volts at 11. At 15, we get how many volts at 15? 3.8 to 15 volts, uh, 15, whatever the reading is on that thing. <laughs> so at that, it, it, it makes a good circuit for it. it makes it when it's monitoring itself, it's right. But as it is now, that's in fault mode because it's sat at 11. So there's where the intermittent fault is. Sometimes it's sat at 11, sometimes it's sat at 15 and just above 15. So it looks like, it, it looks like the, the vacuum pumps like it, are on its way out. But it's just, it's just, obviously we've took weeks and weeks and weeks to pinpoint this. And we're hoping this is it. So the issue, the issue we were having before I change out the turbo, let's come back. Um, turbo boost, low pressure. So, doing a bit of investigation work today. And we've just benchmarked Cliff's van. Um, let me just show you the vacuum on his. So, that's the vacuum sitting on. Is it going to zoom in? Yep. Yeah. Sitting on Cliff's now. So, mine at the minute is round here when it's idling. So, we've had Cliff's running, we've turned it off and it's holding pressure, vacuum, all the way around there, 27. I'm struggling to make 11. So, that's looking like the problem all along has been the vacuum pump, eh? Oh dear, spent all that money. <laughs> and it looks like it's a vacuum pump. Anyway, we'll have a little look at that. This is what happens when you can't pinpoint a fault. You've got to chase it and chase it and chase it until you find it. Hopefully, we've found it now. Hopefully, this is the answer for quite a few of you guys out there that's contacted me as well. who spent a lot of money changing things. So, yeah. My vacuum pump just haven't, hasn't got enough uh, oomph in it. So it's running everything else, it's just not got enough oomph to to lift the actuator completely. No wind, the door just shut on its own. That was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so me and Riley are down with Cliff today. So we're, yeah, that's where we're at. Hopefully we can get it fixed. Right, I think this is where we want to be. Well, been on a bit of a mission today. 
looking for a vacuum pump that I can use on my engine just to test just to test it to make sure it is the vacuum pump. Well here in this lockup in the middle of nowhere it's an old T5 engine. So we've just taken we've just taken the pump off the back there. So the gasket's the same on it. Just time to take it home now and have a look up close against what I've got and if it's if it's the right one we'll swap it out. If it's not, back to the drawing board. But it could get us out of a tight spot. Because if if it is knackered, sorry, if it is this is the issue, we can get it resolved, get it tested, stick this one on for now and order a new one. Right. So all the way in the back of there, past all this crap and gubbins. How the hell are you meant to get to this? Like down here, past there. I think my finger's just touching it now. I don't know if you can see that, but where my finger's touching. Can you see that? Yeah. That there is a vacuum pump. And somehow, I have to try and get that off. <laughs> Wish me luck. So it turns out the only bit I was questioning oops, was this bit, but it actually had this rubber sat on top of it. Now that rubber there is the rubber from the inside of there. So that will actually fit on perfectly. So now we know the gasket fits. I have cleaned it up a little bit. Now we know the gasket fits there perfectly. And we know this fits. I'm going to take the old one off, which is, like I say, all the way in the back there. So it's going to be a bit of a palaver. You can see that oh, it's flashing on the screen. That's the LED. Obviously, the LED is flashing at the same rate, I would say. No? Let's stop now. It must be telling me that it's about to switch off or something. But anyway, let's crack on and get that out. Now, I'm going to work blind here, so there's no point even trying to video this. There's four bolts right at the very back of the engine. That need to come out. So I've dropped the socket, the torque socket, and I think that's it there, right at the bottom of them pipes. So somehow I've got to try and retrieve that now. God, I make jobs easy for myself, don't I? So the dangers of working blind are you can sometimes take the wrong fucking bolt out. I swore there, I shouldn't have swore, should I? I've took the wrong bolt out, and that is now pissing oil all over the drive. I don't know if you can see back there, but right back over there is a puddle of oil. My fault. Problem I've got is, oh, I'll show you, them arms are too thick, like my heat to fit down that tiny little gap there so I'll put that back where it lives so I'm gonna have to carry on try and get I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm gonna carry on and try and get the pump off so I've got enough room in the back of there to put my hand down to to put this bugger back oh you could just kick yourself couldn't you and I'm sweating cobs because it's red hot anyway enough to then let's crack on Right, we've got them both off, and there is some subtle differences. Obviously, the section's missing off this one, and there isn't on this one. The keys that line up on this one are beveled. This one, square. Everything's round about the same height. Um, let's just try that up against each other. You know, one's... Them up. One's thicker than the other in, in comparison, but if you offer them up, they are kind of like the same heights and everything. But anyway, it doesn't fit. I've tried it, it doesn't fit, so I'm gonna have to order a new one. Right, let me show you what we found 
just here there's a tiny 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 little oil return pipe hole hole not pipe <laughs> When we took this off, that had a tiny piece of what looked like rubber wedged in the hole. So we got this drill bit, which is like 0.5 of a mil or less. And we just put it in there and we worked it out. We got it out. And once we got it out, oil started flowing. Quite a bit of oil, to be honest. So what we think has been happening is that's been blocked. This has been filling up with oil. And as it fills up with oil, it's restricted its performance. And it hasn't been creating the vacuum it should have. Something that simple. I look like I've been battered. I've been swinging around up there. I've had to rest my face on on the scuttle panel while I've been taking everything off. But it does look like I've had a good whack in the side of the face, doesn't it? That's weird. It's all swelled up, isn't it? Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. Anyway, we'll go and get a wash. We'll, uh, we'll give ourselves a clean up and we'll go on the internet and we'll order that part. I'm hoping it's here for, for, uh, for Thursday. We're off to, uh, we're off to the Van Life Festival, hopefully. Another glorious day at uh, Crafter Van Hospital, but we've had to call in the specialists um, my arms are a bit too fucking fat. Morning. Not fat, muscly. Morning. <laughs> my arms, look, let's do an arm off. Look, look, size of my arm to the size of his. Right, mine will not go in them bits. So the bolt I took off. <laughs> took it off, no bother. Well, not no bother, it was a struggle. Cliff's come to put that back on. And, and hopefully while he's here... He's going to put one of these three babies on. <laughs> so, knackered one. We found a, a bit of a blockage on an oil return pipe there. The other one that should fit, but I couldn't get it on. And the brand new one. So, I think we're going to refurb that one. Strip it out. Get some new bushes and seals and bits and bobs. Refurb it and bang it out on the internet for somebody else to play with. And then, hopefully, we'll get this one on this morning. Because this afternoon, we're supposed to be on our way to Van Life Festival. And you get to listen to this Cumbrian divvy drivel on on Sunday afternoon. So, I've kind of decided, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I was going to do a bit of a, a script of what I was going to do. But I think I'm just going to wing it. At the end of the day, it's my story, isn't it? It's my story about how I... Um, dealt with an overweight van so nobody can hold me up and tell me I'm wrong <laughs> that's my outlook on it anyway so I'm looking forward to it now um, I had been panicking a little bit I'd probably built it up to something it never ever was so I'm looking forward to getting down there meeting up with everybody again because that's that's the whole thing for me getting down to these festivals I get to meet you guys the subscribers which is brilliant um, looking forward to meeting a couple of people that I've been talking to for years and it is years now and uh, never, ever had the opportunity to meet them. So I get as much out of this as you guys do coming the other way. Um, if you do come and see us, introduce yourself, because you all know me from my videos, <laughs> but I don't know you guys. I know you from texts and stuff like that, and it's nice to know who I'm speaking to. And I'll try and, you know, if you've commented, I'll try and rack through the vault and find, you know, make a link and, and uh, try and remember what we talked about. But... It's always nice to find out who I'm talking to and who we're meeting because it, it does mean a lot to me as well. Um, like little Lizzie, uh, when we went to the Overland show, she was absolutely brilliant and you know we had an opportunity to put her in the video as well. Only briefly, but I didn't do a lot of recording that weekend. I wasn't really feeling it like a lot of people weren't. Too much mud, too much rain, not enough people. So anyway, let's get cracked on with this. I'm, uh, I'm on tea duty. Take Cliff. Oh, I know. We just want to take this gasket off. It's come with a bit of oil on it. So we want to clean that off, clean the back edge off. I think it's just come primed so it doesn't corrode. Um, but this gasket here is quite a snug fit. So I'll just show you how I remove gaskets like this. So basically, just get a clean scraper, 
just work your way around be gentle with it and it'll come off as you can see there there's the oil there's the face so I want to I want to just give that all a good wipe off with some panel wipe now in all these little recesses as well so let's get it all out and then clean this bad boy up Yeah, you don't want any oil on the on the gasket to be honest. Just we just need to make sure we get a good solid seal. Just goes in under there, yeah that's it. It's a, it's a bit awkward to get on and off like. Is that twisted? Yeah. Buttons off that end's twisted. Yeah, it's it's it sits on that oh, guy it there. Sits on that clip, right? That was a pleasure to get off as well. Full pry bar on it. <laughs> a little bit newness now as well, Cliff, is it? Back there, the plugs in the top. Somewhere. I did a flip it up out of there, one or the other. Is the other little pipe there? Yeah. yeah. Couldn't remember where. where I'd nice shape as well in it to work with <laughs> just that little bit on top that sticks into your hands the, yeah the little bit you don't want to break off yeah. is right in the position where you want to push it down dump some for that time Right, everything is back together. So we're all done. It's in my little sticker collection. Any stickers I get made, I'll put them on there. So we keep a bit of a history of, of our channel and how it grew. Cliff's done his duty. An hour of solid hard slog. Don't know what he's gonna charge us for that life, but we'll, we'll sort something out. I have to de deduct tea anyway, so it'll be, it'll be fair. Right, Cliff's going to record me starting this because if it uh, if it works, I might be a bit excited. <laughs> oh. Not sure if I need to clear the fault. Should I clear the fault first? Yeah, you get a quite good start then. <clears throat> So let's have a little look and start reading the codes. Get my money's worth out of this bit of kit. There's a video on this. I'll put a link in the description or I'll, I'll put something on the screen as well. 26 quid and it's it's been worth its weight in gold. Right, store codes. Turbo, all right, so. We have got a store code there. We'll look in pending. We'll definitely have one in pending. So let's erase the codes. It's thinking about it. 
not all the conditions have been met so what we'll do is we'll go back yeah no codes in there no codes in pending right leave that down there moment of truth Success. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. We have a smile. Give the camera a look. Look, 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 look. The first time in a long time we have no pigtail or engine management light on. Absolutely chuffed a bit. And it what time are we on Cliff? So it's about ten o'clock now. So we've done everything well within time. 20 past 10, look at that. So, you will see us at the show. Princesses coming to the ball. <laughs> Sounds really good as well now, doesn't it? The good thing about it, we've just about rebuilt all the top end. We've changed every part that could possibly fail. And it just sounds... I think it sounds sweet as a nut now, well, I really do. It did anyway, you obviously... My face is really somber. This you wouldn't have heard any noise um, because it's on the back of the engine but it wasn't really making any noise it was blocked. So I'm going to rip that apart have a look at it see if we can uh, recondition it if we can it'll be up for sale. Well as you might guess I'm very very happy um, really happy like ecstatic that problem there has haunted us for what two months now but again, like I said, chasing a problem, chasing a fault, you, you just gotta, you just gotta keep at it. You really do have to keep at it. It's one of them, you know. I, I've been speaking to some guys recently who've spent thousands and still haven't got to the bottom of it. And we were lucky we caught that fault. Um, it was just we were at the right place at the right time, but at some point we had to have a bit of good luck, and we just managed to catch it. So. She's up and running. <sighs> chuffed a bit. Proper, proper chuffed a bit. I can start thinking about big adventures again now without worrying about if we're going to make it. Guess where we've been? Yep, we made it all the way to the Van Life Festival and without a hitch and all the way back. The van's fixed, it's running perfectly. Just shows you, doesn't it? You think you've fixed something and it just keeps coming round to bite you in the bum. But anyway, we're done now. The van is back on track. We had a great run down, great run back up, no issues. And uh, we've had another bit of good news as well. The little appeal I did on the last video, Phil, the guy who whose story I was really interested in, actually got in touch today, of all days, and uh, posted on our Facebook group page. So if you've not even seen our Facebook group page, it's all set up for you guys. It's all about your van builds. If you've got questions, if you just want to share pictures, it's there for you guys. So why not jump along, have a look at that. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? There's about 65% of yours that watch my videos that aren't subscribers. Now if you hit that click button, that subscribe button, and hit the bell, get the notifications, excuse me, when we're uploading, it really does help our channel grow, so I'd appreciate it if you could do that for me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.